um, grips onto the bottom face here, and then I have my foam here. So, and I kind of just told him, you know, about four, four feet high, five feet high, something like that. So that um, I have enough, so it kind of looks decent, and then with the big balloon on top, it gives it a very good look. So I found some red, and I found some blue balloons. And they are 12 inch, so that's going to be perfect for this backdrop, or this column, I'm sorry. Move these out of the way, I no longer need them. All right, and y'all stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to be showing you how I made these cute trick-or-treat bags with the Chucky sticker on them. I don't know why I chose Chucky this year. That's just what I did. These bags are available in my Etsy shop. They're great for Christmas, uh, especially Halloween treats, birthday treats, candy buffets, and all of that. Dessert tables, anything that you want to give away at a party or an event, you can fill them with your own treats or just set them on up on the tables. For them to to grab and fill themselves at your events um, the stickers I did make myself I did print those on the glossy sticker paper and then I just set them in a crate here that I found at a garage sale all right so I'm gonna get started with the balloon column and we're gonna need the same kind of the same supplies so this one's going to be super easy, much more simpler. It's only two colors, so it should go a little bit quicker. Now, I'm undecided on how I want to do it. I could do it two ways. I can do the spiral of the two colors going up, or I can split it and make it a red and blue, red and blue spiral. I'm undecided. So I either want a one spiral blue or one spiral red. Or I want two red spirals and two blue spirals. I think I think we're gonna play a little bit today. So let's do the two spirals, the two red and the two blue. So in order to do that, we need 12 inch balloons, which is what I got here. Perfect size. These balloons are really good quality. My niece had a birthday party, I would say, three years ago, and these balloons have still held up. We got these at Party City. I really like the quality of these. Um, along with Qualtex, is a very good brand. All right, I suggest having an electronic, an electric um, balloon pump. They work really great. They're very easy to use. Quick and easy, fast, you finish your projects really fast. I used to do the pump, the hand pump one. Girl, let me tell you, mm -mm. can't do that no more. Uh, it would take me very long to finish projects that way. Of course, I was just starting, so um, I just bought whatever was convenient. And, and, and these are not that very expensive. If I recall, I paid about $15 for this. On Amazon, I think, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. But this was like maybe five years ago, probably more. So who knows what the price is now? Who knows nowadays what these things cost? So I'm going to go ahead and just pull out a bunch of red. Since Chucky has red and blue on his clothing, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to show you really quickly the sticker I made. For. I'm going to place the Chucky sticker on so this big one here he's gonna go on the main balloon these little ones i will place on just the other balloons here and there random balloons here and there and these are about a two inch size sticker so there's that and then there's the full body one this will go on his top balloon and these are leftovers from my candy bags that i made I'm going to do a, y'all look out for the video. I'm going to be assembling some of these on camera. It's not going to take long because everything's already, you know, put together. I'm just going to fill the bags and put the stickers on them. So I'm going to blow up 
one red, one blue. Remember, I want the red, blue, red, blue spiral. So I'm blowing up these balloons just about to where they're about the same size. I don't have a box, a balloon measure box or anything like that. And I match the colors to the clothes the Chucky doll is wearing. I'm going to hold this here really quickly while I cut my ribbon. So I prefer balloon ribbon over fishing wire. And I've said it before that uh, it's just due to the balloons not popping on me. Fishing wire has popped a lot of my balloons. I don't like the way it held up. I mean, it's a good idea, but this has never failed me. It's always done well. Uh, of course, stuff happens sometimes. It might pop here and there, but not as much as a fishing wire would tear up my stuff. And after working so hard on something, you just find what's what works for you. And this is what works for me, the balloon ribbon. And I always try to pick, just pick one color that you want it to match to. So I pick the blue. I have blue balloon ribbon. It matches my blue balloon. If I had red ribbon, I would use it as well. Either one. So let me go ahead and make sure y'all are in camera good. Yes. So I'm going to aim down to the balloon garland and move y'all over just a little bit. right there and as soon as we're going up i will move the camera up so i'm going to start at the base of my balloon column and i'm not worried about how many balloons i have because i have enough for the whole column so <clears throat> we're not going to do a full base one color or anything like that we're going to do red blue red blue i want four spirals instead of two so then red blue again excuse the noise after the first uh row that i do i'll speed up the video till i finish <laughs> Okay. We have to tie these two colors to the same. Back paddling, back paddling. <laughs> so you're going to tie two red and two blue together. What I meant about the four colors is the way the spiral is going to be. You still have to uh, attach the same colors together. So two reds, two blues.
and I used a 12 inch today that's the size of balloons I use and you can see we have the blue spiral the red spiral the blue spiral and then the red spiral and the blue again on top so you get those four spirals all right so I'm gonna put the camera back up I'm gonna go ahead and work on the top of our balloon column so I think I'm gonna do a blue balloon because our our uh, Chucky is gonna get stuck on or be placed on the blue one and I'm gonna blow it up as much as I can <laughs> the cut out is a full sheet well as big as I could put it on the sheet so I'm going to cut a piece of ribbon to attach our balloon and I really love doing balloon columns because they're so easy uh, they're a great addition to backdrops if you have a backdrop at your event just put a column on each side of the backdrop Put it to a column on each side of your tables, like your main table, like uh, where you're going to have your gifts or something, or where you're going to have your backdrop as well. Or even if you have a setting place for like a baby shower guest or the baby shower girl, the mom to be, or something like that. Okay, I'm placing this balloon right in the middle. I'm trying to get it to where it will stay right here it might just keep flopping out because what I could do is add some double-sided tape and if you have any ribbon strands you could just go clip them or just tuck them into the balloon stand it's not a big deal all right I have some double-sided tape here what I'm going to do is apply some so that this balloon stays like right here in the So I just taped it down there. It's all right. So if this wobbling bothers you, which is probably going to bother me like it is already, um, I'm just going to get some tissue paper to stick down in there, but we'll do that after I put my sticker on. So this is the sticker paper. It's, it's a glossy finish sticker. Super cute. I'm just going to peel it off like so and add it to my balloon. These are great alternatives to, if it's bumpy, that's okay. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. It's due to the shape of the balloon. Because once these stickers are down, they're down. I'm just going to leave it like that. Well, I can, I can barely peel it. This, if his head's sticking up, that's fine. I just don't want his face all wrinkled up and stuff. All right. What I could do here is I'm going to blow up the balloons like super small, not even a lot of air. So I can show you how to do that. Just like this, just like maybe five inch balls. Or four inch, five to four inches. Tie them up, quad them up. Or you're actually gonna tie them double and then do a quad. So there's one. And then I'll do another. All right. 
So here's my quad. Two and two balloons tied together make a quad. All right. They even sell those balloons that look like little flowers and they have the hole in the middle. That could work on top too. If you want to invest in that, you can. I don't have those on hand, so I mean, I do with what I got. I'm going to go ahead and add a piece of ribbon so that y'all can see. I'm going to tie it just anywhere to the quad. And I actually could have placed this before I placed the balloon, the big, the blue balloon. Let's see if it comes in the If you're afraid of these popping, of course, do the quad first. Oops. I don't know why my lights are getting. Okay. There we go. Now I like the I like the sturdiness of that way better. There we go. So there's our balloon. Let me turn it a little bit. And this quad is gonna stay there in the middle. That's about the middle of the balloon collar. The Chucky doll is kind of crooked. Is. I'm gonna cut this off. I sure am taking chances today. <laughs> All right. So that's good for me. I'm not gonna mess with it no more. Uh, now I'm gonna get my small stickers, which are these, and I'm gonna place them on the whole column, up and down, anywhere, just random. Move it back so y'all can see. So I'm just gonna place them random. So I'll place one here. Place one here. Kind of like a zigzag, I guess. A zigzag move. And then the red one, I will place the red one right in here. And then on the other red one over here. Super cute. And you could do this for any event. Um, or you could just make the stickers for your customer and they could place them on their own balloons. So like these little stickers are perfect for this size of balloon. Probably even a three inch is the perfect size. I know I made this one bigger. It's just because it's going to be on the top balloon and I don't care how it looks. It's just for me. But if it were for a customer, I would definitely make the sticker a little bit smaller so that there's no sticking out or anything like that. So that it lays flat just like this one did on the balloon. Uh... So, just placing them here and there, random places, and that's it guys, it's done. So right now I am going to get on, this is not fair, I am going to get on camera here and show you how I did the candy bags which are down here in the other container. Showed you just now. All right, so there is the Chucky balloon column.